going on everybody? It's your boy Lil Country Grassling and this is Long Kid Convos. Let's talk about it. We gon' talk about it. We gon' we gon' we gon' talk, talk about this, that, and the third. And the third blowing. Had you trimming and edge curve. And we eat, we eat. From coast to coast, exchanging long care information. And this is the Long Country. Long Kid Convos. We gon' talk about it. Uh huh. We gon' talk about it. We gon' talk, talk about this, that, and the third. And the third. And blowing. Had you trimming and edge curve. And we eat, we eat. Okay. From coast to coast, exchanging long care information. And this is the Long Country. Long country. And this is Long Kid Convos. Let's talk about it. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Low Country Grasslinger. Yeah, finished up today. The season's off to a pretty good start. I can't complain. Um, it's not as fast as I wanted it to be, but also it's actually starting a lot earlier than it normally does. Um, we normally don't get started until about April. And been getting calls already, so I won't complain about that. So, you know, I'm having fun already. Um, trying to get a lot of stuff done before the season actually starts. I don't know whether I talked to you guys about it before, but I wanted to um, get my, my garage straightened up a little bit more, more convenient for me while I'm um, running the business. So I got it a little, little squared away, but it's a little junky right now. Um, I can uh, show you guys. Just give me a second. All right, as you can see, it's a mess, but it's a work in progress also. Um, I cleaned it out. I used to have a wall going directly down the center here, but I got that cleaned out. I got my office area with the cabinets above it, and I have the plotters for my shirts and the lettering of the vehicles when people order those. And I got my old faithful John Deere B130. No, guys, I'm not a pervert. That's just the mannequin for my shirts. And all over there, those are the supplies for my shirts. And I just got me a new ladder today. So I'm excited about that because this one here kind of threw me the other day. I was doing some hedges too tall for me to get on my feet. And I uh, had a little accident, but I didn't hurt myself. Back there, I got my parking lot blower and my my um, uh, pressure washer and my spare mower, my 21 inch. And over here, I got my jack for my mowers when I'm changing my blades and just cleaning out. But um, that's pretty much it. It's a work in progress. I'm trying to get things straightened out. And of course, over here, the biggest thing that I'm excited about is Concrete pad, Old Faithful to get first cruise parking space. Finally got that, so I'm excited about that. Gave us a little more space in our driveway, so now we can actually fit four cars in our driveway. As you can see, they um, our neighborhood is pretty tight, but they um, they parked on the road, so it was hard for us to get in and out. So that's why we ended up getting the pad over there. But for the most part, so yeah, those are the updates that. I've been working on trying to get things done. Probably gonna do some more work in my garage tonight to try to clean it up a little bit more. Like I said, it's been kind of hard getting everything situated. Like I said, I got everything kind of where I want it, so now I just gotta organize it and kind of go through the excess junk that I really don't need and um, go ahead and get rid of it. And, you know, just kind of clean it up a little bit. But um, for the most part, that's pretty much it. Like I say, I'm trying to get the, the grass season on on a good start and uh, move forward and build. I don't know how I talked about it before, but I think I'm going to um, kind of cut back on the clients and just like um, offer more services so I can actually take my time. Because last year, I was, man, it was ridiculously crazy last year. I didn't get a whole lot of time to spend with my family. And it just, it was overwhelming, you know, and I, I was taking on more than what I necessarily had to. So this year, I think I'm gonna, you know, just kind of pull back. Because I think one of my big things last year, what I was trying to do, I was trying to convince myself that I was gonna do this full time. And I was just trying to grow, grow, grow. But I, I sat down, you know, me and my wife, we sat down and we talked about it. And we were thinking, you know, when the time is right, the time is gonna be right. You know, I, I firmly believe that 
God's going to put me in that position. And he's going to give me a sign to let me know that when it's my time to go full time, it is gonna, it's going to definitely present itself. So until that time, I'm just going to go ahead. I think I'm going to cut back this year. You know, I'm going to keep running with my, my usual clients, my ones that's been riding with me from day one. The loyal clients, the ones that I know I don't have to worry about paying me. I don't have to chase them down to get the money. You know, I, I know that once the job is done, I'm going to get the pay. Um, I might pick up one or two new clients. I'm not sure yet. But like I said, this year right here is just going to be more focusing on growing my 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 craft so to say i want to get into fertilizing i need to take that test man i really do need to take that test and um stop playing with it before um i lose more money um it's a lot of stuff that i want to do you know i want to learn more about the you know irrigation i want to learn about far as you know pesticides well, of course, I got to take that test, so I'm gonna, hopefully I can learn a lot more about pesticides. I just want to get more in depth into the lawn business because I, I believe that once I learn more, I'll be able to, you know, provide more services and I'll probably, you know, grow my business a little bit more. So that's one of the big things. But um, one thing that happened today, it kind of threw me for a loop. Um, went out and I did some stuff and uh, came back. I actually I was on my way to get the ladder. And um, I came back and we got the mail and it was from Florida, I think it said Florida ticketing system or some toll systems. So I opened up, I'm like, man, I haven't been to Florida in a while. I thought, you know, maybe when we went down for the rental, we went down with the rental car for my brother-in-law's bachelor party, you know, maybe we got a ticket, but that was over two years ago. So um, I was just like, wow, that's kind of crazy. So I looked at it and lo and behold, it said that it was my license plate number and it was on a, I think it was like a 20, 2007 Silverado. I'm like, I got an 07 Avalanche. That's not my truck. You know, it doesn't look nothing like my truck, but it said it's my license plate. So I guess I'll probably call them on Monday and find out what's going on. Um, but um, let me get off of this because my son just now got hurt playing basketball. So I'm in this video, and I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Stay out you.